Hey guys, so today I'm going to give you some tips and some tips to like kind of get you back on track, like get you back on your routine and kind of keep you motivated to keep on like pursuing your goals and your dreams. Um, I lately just kind of went off track and I'm trying to get back into it, but this is what I'm doing to help get me back there. Now I do want to say that this these tips do work for me. They may not work for you. I'm weird. I'm kind of different. <laughs> but if these tips do not relate to you, then I'm going to say look back at a time whenever you were like in the swing of things and you were just getting in and you were just working really hard and you were really proud of yourself. What were you doing at that time to keep you motivated? And once you realize that, then I would say just go back and do the same thing. But these are my tips and maybe this, these will help you. <laughs> Okay, my first tip is to stay busy. Now, I don't know if this is just me, but I work so much better under pressure and when I have a busy schedule. This is why I procrastinate a lot. Because if I have free time, then I will just slack. I will slack and I will be lazy and I will tell myself, I deserve this time to just be lazy because I work so hard, blah, 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 blah. And then like my vacation or whatever just ends up being way longer than it should be. And yeah, it's just not good. And it's really hard for me to get back into my routine and get back into my schedule, especially if I've waited so long. So I have to stay busy. If I'm not busy, then I am just lazy and being a slacker. <laughs> okay, my tip number two is to keep a clean and organized environment. So my environment affects me a lot. So if like my room or like my, my room or my apartment is a mess, then I'm a mess. I just can't function to my fullest ability when there's just like clutter and just disorganization everywhere. It's just like my mind gets real cluttered and I just see the mess and it just really, really, really stresses me out. So I have to make myself keep my apartment clean because I just work so much better that way. I just feel like I can breathe and I can just work so much better <laughs> my third tip is to have a vision board or like some sort of visual reminder of like what your goals are so it's important to have goals but and it's really important for them to be really specific so you can work towards them but also having that visual reminder there and you've seen it every day is also a little motivating factor that just keeps you going now i made a vision board a while back ago but i kind of put it in a corner where i couldn't really see it and it just kind of all my goals and stuff that i wanted to accomplish just kind of faded from my mind so i took it out of the corner and i now have it um on my ceiling above my bed <laughs> so whenever I go to sleep or if I'm just like laying down or um, whenever I wake up that's like the first thing I see is like I see my ceiling and I think that's pretty cool because I just kind of look at it look at it and I just read it and all the things I want to do and it just kind of really motivates me to work so much harder that day my fourth tip is to eat a healthy diet and yes I know blah 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 diet 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 no one wants to change their diet I know so Food is very important. If you're going to eat like shit, you're going to feel like shit. Food affects us in so many different ways. It gives us energy and different types of food are going to affect us differently. That's just how it is. So for me, the, like how I feel my best and I feel like I have the most energy is whenever I eat a lot of fruit, <clears throat> like a lot of water, high water foods and like high nutrient dense foods. And whenever I eat just like a whole foods plant based diet, so I'm limiting like the processed foods and like all the fatty foods, that's whenever I feel my best. Oh, and drink a lot of water, stay hydrated. My fifth tip is to exercise or just move your body. Just do whatever you want. Dance in your room, go on a walk, go on a jog, um, go to the gym, work out like crazy. Just do whatever you want to do. Whatever feels right for you. You just need to kind of move your body and just kind of get your heart pumping and just have some exercise in your life it doesn't have to be like crazy i feel the best when i at least do two to three times a week and that's not even a lot compared to some people but i don't even do that every week but whenever i do i'm just like good job girl and i'm just like you did good <laughs> my sixth tip is to relax take some time for yourself do something that you love so for me, I mean, this varies for everybody, but for me, I'm more of an introvert, so I like to just have like a chill day where I can just like spend some time with myself, and this varies like just from what the mood I'm in, but this could be for me like binge watching YouTube or Netflix, or like cooking me an awesome dinner, 
or um, doing a small workout, listening to music, dancing in my room, taking like a long shower, you know, shaving my legs, doing some girly things like put a face mask on, you know, just anything chilling with my dog. It varies from person to person, but just take some time to re recharge and just do something fun or something that you love. And for me, I love spending time with myself because I'm hilarious. I crack myself up. I love myself. I love spending time with myself. I think I'm hilarious. Okay, yeah, enough about that. My seventh tip is to have an accountability partner or just positive friendships in your life. You need someone there who's going to like push you to do to work harder and who's going to keep you accountable for all the things you want to accomplish. And who's also just going to be there for you. If you're feeling down, you can talk to them and they can help bring you up and just bring you your confidence back and stuff like that. So it's also really good to have um, the people that are around us. They influence us a lot. So keep those positive people in your life. My eighth tip is to be organized. Um, have like a planner or a journal or a to-do list or something that you can just have with you at all times. Um, some For some people this is like a paper version, but I'm more electronic. I like to see things nice and neat and clean and not messy with my ugly handwriting, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I have like my calendar on my laptop and my phone, they're all synced together. I have like a lot of lists on my phone that too. So this is like, just being organized is a really good way to just kind of make sure you're getting all of your stuff done and so you won't be too frazzled and stuff with so much to do. You can kind of organize and plan everything out. My ninth tip is to just take care of yourself. Like this is like an everyday thing, not like the last tip where it was like relax and do something for you, but take care of yourself. Sleep, you know, get enough sleep and take care of your hygiene, you know, take a shower and take nice showers and you know, just feel like whenever you work cleaner, we just feel better, you know? <laughs> kind of self-explanatory. Um, meditate if you want to. Um, just take a time to just kind of relax and just not stress and just clear your mind and your body and stuff. I don't meditate, but I kind of want to get into it, but yeah, that's maybe later. My 10th tip and final tip is to just go and do it, you know? Stop making excuses. Just go and do it. Go clean your room. Go make a vision board. Go work out. Whatever it is that you want to do, just go and do it. Quit making excuses. Get your ass up to bed and do it. <laughs> I have to tell myself this all the time. All the time. Okay, guys. So these are my tips. I hope they helped you out. Um, please leave me some of your tips down in the comments below. I could always use the help because I feel like I'm always getting off track and it's because always I mess up one of these things I don't do it and just kind of <laughs> fucking just downward hill man just tumbling all the way down and I can't get up <laughs> anyways yeah leave me a comment let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video peace love stay fierce watch it be